taxation can make or break your security token offering. Hello, welcome to the next issue of Stobox Fintech Insights. And today we continue our series on the choice of the best jurisdiction for your STO and discuss the issue of taxation. There are three uh, issues to be discussed here. One is corporate income tax, two withholding tax, and three double taxation. Firstly, corporate income tax. This is the most basic tax that your holding company uh, from which you're doing STO will pay in the jurisdiction which you choose. There are many jurisdictions more or less recognized where the income tax is almost 0% where you can choose. Also, the income tax that you will pay will depend on the type of security that you offer. That is depending on whether you offer shares or debt-like securities, which we covered in the previous video. How you pay income tax will differ. The next issue to consider is withholding tax. So uh, you will not only pay the income tax, but also when you pay interest or dividends outside the country in which you are incorporated, you will have to pay an additional tax on the funds that you are distributing, which is called a withholding tax. If you are making a relatively small offering, for example, in a single jurisdiction, then you should not be concerned about this issue. However, most offerings are targeted globally, which is one of the benefits of the STO, and thus you have to think about it. Mm. One of the aspects of the withholding tax are the so-called tax rebates. That is in certain jurisdictions such as Malta or Switzerland. If your investors paid income tax in their home jurisdictions, then uh, this jurisdiction will do tax rebates of the withholding tax that you have paid. However, this procedure is operationally complicated and although it reduces tax burden and often very significantly, you should rather avoid this because applying for the tax rebate is a complicated procedure which will make your offering less attractive. The last thing to consider is double taxation. That is, uh, if your jurisdiction does not have double taxation avoidance treaty, with jurisdictions of your investors, then you will firstly have to pay a withholding tax in your main jurisdiction, and then your investors will also have to pay a personal income tax in their home jurisdiction, and thus the tax burden may rise up to 60-70% of the total income they would have received. And this is definitely a way to definitely break the all the profits that investors may receive from your offering so you should be very serious about avoiding double taxation in order to achieve this in order to choose jurisdiction uh, suitable from the perspective of double taxation you have to be very clear regarding what jurisdiction of investors do you target and where your investor will be coming from this will be a topic which we will cover in the separate video but for today, these are three things, corporate income tax, withholding tax, and double taxation treaties that you have to consider when choosing the jurisdiction for your STO. Mm, that's everything for today. We will have one more last part about choosing the right jurisdiction. Please subscribe to, to our channel, like the video, share it with your friends whom, to whom you consider it may be interesting, and see you in the next episode.